doesn't want a tomato that's ready tomorrow <laughs> that would not be me I like my tomatoes right now 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 this is silvery fir tree tomato as you can see it is 58 days to harvest so I'm excited about that and um, I don't know where this tomato comes from they don't say on here but it's a beautiful tomato in the garden and it's determinate so Oh, they say origin U.S. Okay. Oh, no, that's probably my seeds are from the U.S. But so that's my short, um, my qu quick growing tomatoes. Glacier tomato. This is a tomato that they say people like to grow in Alaska. It grows 30 inches tall, so two and a half foot, foot tall. And it grows in cooler temperatures. And it is two inch slicers. So... You know, if nothing else, it'll grow for me. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Stupinski tomato is 59 days. And um, it is a warm weather crop. And this gives you a slicer. It's not a, um, it's not a cherry tomato, I'm told. We'll see what we get. Although I may not know because I didn't mark my tomatoes. I just planted them. Okay. And now let's go on to the rare tomatoes. Um, I tried growing these three tomatoes last year and they died. Okay. In the garden over the winter. <laughs> okay. Pierce's Pride. Um, it is a tomato that looks gorgeous. And I got this from Bunny Hop Seed. I was looking for okra seed, and she had all these lovely tomatoes, so I bought some. And I've never gotten this to fruit, but I keep trying. So maybe I've got a few seeds left. I've, I've sowed some now, and I'll sow something, some again in the late summer for fall and try again for winter sowing. But I'm sowing a summer crop now. Um... Red Ruffles, this is a tomato that's supposed to be early. This is a new um, company I'm trying, J&L Gardeners. Uh, the seeds, um, the package, we, we had some torrential rain, and the postman delivered this in the rain, so that's why the seed package looks like that. He tried to do a lovely package. He put a picture on there. He gave me information that's on his website, and I love his packaging. But um, the postman was trying to get his work done. Seeds got wet as he was delivering them. So it, we had like, I don't know, five inches of rain in a couple of hours. See, this is an example of how he was doing his seed package. This is Northern Elon. This is a dwarf. It's a chocolate beefsteak, and um, it's for small gardens. It's supposed to have rich flavor in it. So I'm giving that one a try. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Yummy. I love a chocolate tomato. Then um, Grubbs Mystery Green. You can kind of see it there. It looks like a yellow tomato with some green on it. They say this might be a sport of Paul Robeson. I want to grow Paul Robesons, but I've never grown them. But he had Grubbs Mystery Green. So I said, well, maybe it'll taste like a Paul Robeson. So I'll give it a try. And that's a Russian, Paul Robeson, I think, is a Russian tomato. Mandarin Cross. He gave me this one as free seed. He said it's very productive. He makes his own tomatoes, too. He, he actually produces his own tomatoes. So this Mandarin Cross is his own creation. It is a sweet um 
and wonderful tomato, 70 to 75 days. He's in a drier desert climate than me. And um, he's putting a lot more effort into growing tomatoes than I do. So he might be doing more than me. I got another one called Blue Ambrosia. Oh, I think I, I put the other one I got from him in my cherry tomato seed. So that so you'll see those when I get the cherry tomatoes. I don't want to do too much at once. And then I have indigo rose. This is the tomato that started everybody one and thionine tom tomatoes. And it is a beautiful tomato. It grows well in my area. I haven't grown it in 10 years, but I decided for old time's sake, I'll, I'll start the original anthionine tomato because I like it. A lot of people don't. The reason why this looks like this is because this is my saved seed tomato. And this is one of my top two tomatoes um, for beefsteak. Um, if I didn't grow any of these other tomatoes, I would grow this one right here. It's called Phelan's Choice. And it was a sport of Cherokee purple. And this tomato grows very well for me. It grows wherever I put it. It grows in partial shade. It grows in full sun. It loves my environment. And it gives me, I, I probably get like 50 tomatoes off of it. They start off big and they get small. They are a chocolate tomato, like Cherokee purple. And I love this tomato. The tomatoes are just the size I like. They are um, somewhere between six ounces and a pound. I really don't want a pound tomato if I could avoid it. I, I really prefer um, a six ounce to an eight ounce tomato because then it's, I'm eating this tomato fresh. Sometimes I'm eating the whole tomato. Um, I have a little trained squirrel in my garden, and I prefer for that squirrel to eat the smaller tomatoes, but you can best believe I don't get all my Cherokee purples. She finds a way to Cherokee purples. Thankfully, red brandy wine is the squirrel's favorite tomato, so she will just snub her nose at my Cherokee purples if she can find a red brandy wine, even if it's a cherry size. That's her preference, so... Um, I sometimes can get all of these for myself. So that is why this is like this. And I do a very archaic seed save. I take my seeds and I smear them on a coffee um, filter. And then I just let them dry out onto the filter. That's why they look like that. You see my seeds? that seed is escaping and it kind of makes like a seed tape, but I can pick them off like that when I'm ready to plant them. Sometimes they clump up, sometimes they ferment. That's why they got that color there. And when I go to plant them, they last me like 10 years. You know, I can just keep on planting. And when I get close to running out, I save some more seed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you know my Tied for number one tomatoes. And since my garden is shared with my trained squirrel, which is a wild squirrel, but she lives around me, her favorite is Brandywine. So I grow six Cherokee purples and I grow like 10 red Brandywines. And we're all right. They will cover the garden. They will grow everywhere. I let them grow on the ground. They sucker. They give me more tomatoes that way. And we want more tomatoes because, like I said, all my plants don't survive. But the ones that do, I stretch them. So those are my beefsteak tomatoes, the unusual varieties, and my my tried and true. This one has variegated leaves. That's why I have it with the unusual tomatoes. So God bless you.